Welcome everybody to our live stream here on Lee Chess and Twitch. Do we have Lee Chess in the title today? Asturbate, do you recall yesterday? Did anyone warn me in the process of my two plus hour stream that I didn't have the stream on Lee Chess at some point? Was I just like ignoring this? We only had a few viewers because I forgot to put Lee Chess in the title. Normally someone would remind me, but I didn't catch it till after the stream was over, which is a little bit late. So if, if I do something stupid, please, please warn me. Um, because I stream on Lee Chess for all the, all the, the high number of viewers, obviously. All right. No, seriously. <clears throat> Ripun Bansal. We are live. Any technical problems? Let me now. Speak now or forever hold your peace. One, one day this week, I've got to get out and get a, U, a new USB hub because it's starting to drive me crazy. It might just be the cable. I don't know. I don't know if it's the hub itself or the cable, but I just got my USB stuff going off. I've got my USB going off for random moments. So I lose mouse or camera or something else <clears throat> just out of the blue. What's up? All right, let's take some challenges. I've got a short, low voice. Here we go. Low voice. You might be right. Let's, let's take a look. That's another thing that comes and goes. The Microsoft just randomly changing my sound settings. Let's see. Do we have a lucky Microsoft sound setting today? Wow, it is. It is. It's just so random. Thank you, Repun. Randomly, Microsoft, some Microsoft update sends my... Microsoft update sends my... my No, it, he was right. My, I was down to 88% for no reason whatsoever. Like, just out of the blue. Microsoft does that. The London defense. I just had a challenge of 3-0, but I don't play that. It's bad enough to play 5-0. Um, yesterday I hosted a 5-0 tournament, and not one game was of any kind of, like, decent quality. Literally. 10 games to 5 0, not one game was, was worthy of analyzing. Um, one out of 10 openings was actually theoretically important, and zero out of 10 games was something that I would want to like go over and, and really like take a look at. All right, Repun Bansal, subscribers first. I am Ultimate Beast, said, said he's a 2500 IM. You're not playing in the right GM tournaments, I guess. All right. Um, let's see here. Almost answer your question. Is the London defense in the Scotch Gambit? I don't ever heard of a London defense. Guys, no challenge is faster than five plus three. I'm serious. I'm serious now. Just garbage. I can't believe people play bullet chess. It's, it's it's ridiculous, man. All right, we're trying to play weird openings today. It's a short stream because of daylight savings time in the United States and Europe not being aligned. So I'm only going to be here for an hour and a half. We've only got ninety less than ninety minutes now. Um. Let's do a delayed St. George. I almost answered. Wait, Tejo slow. He almost answered my question. I wouldn't say I answered it at all. It's a random question. I'm not big on like opening variation names. 
<clears throat> Not really that important, honestly. So, uh huh, I had a game like this once. I guess I played B5, sacking a pawn. How does that work? Right, according to who? Do you have that on authority? Or that's what Lee Chess says? It doesn't matter. It probably has three other names. It probably doesn't even really have a name. Some random guy who doesn't even play chess, like, made a Wikipedia page where he just assigned it some name or something. You know? I seriously, Wikipedia is not it's not really reliable site for, for chess opening names, I don't think, you know. Probably want to consult you would want to consult uh, a serious like compilation where someone's put a lot of research into it. I don't buy the Wikipedia opening names. Seriously, anybody can contribute to Wikipedia. Do you think that's like reliable? I'm just being contrary. But I mean, a lot of times, like, there's more than one name for openings. And who's to say, like, which one is right? I wouldn't call it anything. It's just a random move, man. Nobody plays that, practically. Yeah, I don't know. It's some kind of line. Very few people play that move. I have no idea what it's called. I've never played it. It's not important. Maybe, yeah, he just likes to argue, obviously, about random stuff. Life is too short to argue about random stuff. I'm just not interested in, like, random fourth move variation opening names. That's really irrelevant. All right. It's chess base, yeah. I mean, I would chess. I, I I don't like chess base, but at least like they have actual chess players, usually, who've like you know named the openings in their books and stuff like that. Much more reliable would chess base be than like borrowing the names over from a Wikipedia article. We're going to ban you from using question marks in the chat. It's, it's, I feel like it's Monday morning. Don't, 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 don't go there. Don't, don't, in, don't encourage him to ask more questions. I'm here to ask, answer questions. Sometimes. It's too early in the morning, though, for the rapid-fire questions. Maybe a little later. I like how white doesn't use any time. How about night before? This doesn't look right. This looks more like it. I mean, this is weird, dude. You're basically playing more of a queen pawn game than a king pawn game, I would say. It was me? Really? Astrobate, are you serious? You're actually going to take the blame? I can play e5 here. Then I guess knight c2. That's a weird position.
Well, since being titled has been totally devalued by FIDE in the last, like, 20 years, it no longer portends God status. And I don't think portends is the right word there, but whatever. Portend. Can we pretend? No, don't email me the question. No. No. If you wanna if you wanna ask me a question like that and it's something irrelevant, um, send it to Acerbate. He handles all my irrelevant questions. Email is only for very important inquiries. Like you wanna take lessons. or you have some serious business venture in mind. Then just welcome. Yeah, I don't know. I was a little, I'm a little morning. I'm a little bit morning style this morning. Didn't feel, I didn't feel like I was, I've, I've been a little rushed um, because of the time difference being just five hours rather than six. I have to squish my schedule up like an hour and it makes me stressed out. So we only have an hour and a half until next week. Okay, today's stream is only an hour and a half. Normally it would be an hour, two and a half hours, unfortunately. I guess I should try to play actively. Analysis stream tomorrow, yes. Thank you for a relevant question. Yes, Speedjock, did you so you didn't submit a game last time I checked? Um, yes, thank you. Awesome. Remind me of something relevant. So we're hosting an analysis stream tomorrow for subscribers. You can submit games and ask questions. It's a perfect place for questions. Um, if you'd like to submit a game, please send me the game here on Lee Chess. Do not email it to me for example. Tomorrow night at 6.30. Yeah, we don't have any games yet, so I don't know, nothing from Mr. Slow, nothing from Yabatis, nothing from a lot of the regulars. This reminds me of the Nimzo. It's like an F3 Nimzo. <clears throat> Kunal just just donated one bit. Nice. You're on the leaderboard. No. Bishop H four, of course. Fourth. Yeah, Cheese Man has 69 bits this week. It's early in the week. Can you host a viewer arena? You see, now that's that's what my seventh grade English teacher taught me. You have to ask, would you? Would you? May I ask if you would? Because if you ask, like, 
why, why are you offering a take back? Can you implies like, can I physically do it? You know? And, and that's like sort of obviously I can, you know, I told you the same before. But you can't say may, may you, you know, may you for some reason is like grammatically incorrect. You played a famous streamer, blah, blah, blah. What am I doing? All right, well, why, I got to do something more aggressive here. Um, screw this. Screw this stuff. G4, hey. That's nice, nice, nice. Would you host a viewer? Well, depends on when you're talking about. The, speaking of context, you told Astrobate about context, but like, when, when are you talking about? Like now? As in like momentarily? Viewer arena. The marina. The ship is docked at the marina. No, not today, obviously. I would think about an arena, maybe maybe instead of a Tuesday Swiss. It's a good suggestion. I've been toying around with it. Yeah, maybe maybe we could do it like next Tuesday. But I mean you're you're like in India, right? So it's gonna be terrible for you. Because it's my my evening streams are too late for people in in, in the Asian continent. Yeah, we'd have to do it in the morning once. Maybe I could, like, on Friday. It's an interesting suggestion. We could do, like, a Friday arena. I like it. We could do Friday arena. Not this week, though, because I have a short week. You know, the problem is, let's see, Friday, yeah. It's a bad week for, for morning streams because I only have like 90 minutes. Usually I have much more time. Yeah, I would do like 5.0. The evening stream start at 6.30, my time, which is Central European time. Although we're going to be Central European summertime next week. I like the idea though. You know, I'm not going to do it this week, but I'm going to take your consideration. I'm going to take your consideration. I'm going to take your suggestion into consideration. Here's the challenges. We just disappeared from, from 9 until 4. No rated challenges. What was the deal with that guy who came to the stream? He said he was an IM and his rating stuck at 2536. Like, what's that about? Was he talking about, like, Lee Chess ratings? I didn't understand what he was talking about earlier. The guy was a real IM. He actually challenged me to 5 plus. He challenged me to 3 0. But I didn't understand what ratings he was talking about. Did anybody get that when I first started the stream? It's, it's only. Well, I mean, that's late for a lot of people. I mean, it's like if he's talking about FIDE, he's obviously like trolling because it seems like the average grandmaster in Hungary and Serbia is like 2400. So I don't know what his deal was. 2535 would be extremely high rated for an IM. The only country where they have players like that is is like the Forbidden Zone. The Federation. I think the only country where they have 2500 rated IMs is like Russia. No. No, Serbia? No, I would think like Russia would be the only only country with with twenty five hundred rated IMs, something like that. Dude, I mean, the truth is like ratings are going down. The average grandmaster is now rated in the low twenty four hundreds. To be like in the twenty five hundreds as an IM is like a joke. Yeah, there are isolated examples. I don't think China will soon take over chess and chess. Their players aren't like allowed to participate in anything. That makes it kind of difficult. India, yes. India has an open policy toward its its players like playing all over the world. <laughs> the Chinese players have like no access anymore, practically. I mean they're very restricted. I haven't seen a Chinese player in like four years. 
there's no way they're gonna take over the chess world. They're they're they've got to be like stagnating. I was supposed to play weird openings. I didn't mean to do take back. Sorry. I just wanted to abort the game and start over. We can't abort the game. All right. We'll just play. You guys get me distracted in the chat. I'm so socially isolated. I get so excited to talk in the chat that I forget about the stream where I'm supposed to be playing chess. Forget about it, China. As long as they restrict their players from traveling, they have no chance to be a dominant chess country. No, but India will get stronger and stronger. India will slowly take China's place in the world standings, I would say. China had a fairly open policy for a while, but it looks like they've really cracked down, and it's going to get worse. I don't see China having a huge future in chess, at least not in the in the near term. Yeah, I think Karyakin should be permanently banned. I don't think like six months is enough. He's lucky I'm not in charge of handing out bans from FIDE. I would ban him for life. Is Karpov been banned? I'm not up on the latest soap opera news. Obviously, Karpov should, should be banned. It's, it's a little tricky, like, banning... It's a little trickier, it feels like, banning a former legend world champion than a random player like Karyakin. He's not random, but still, compared to Karpov, he's he's not as famous, not as accomplished. But still, I think we have to ban Karpov permanently. Dude, Agnes Karadziewski. Very, very nasty Twitter commentary, dude. They didn't ban him for being a member of the Russian the Russian Federation. I mean, the guy has been very outspoken in support of the war and even mocking people dying and stuff like that. It's it's really bad. I didn't know you were big on conspiracy theories, Agnes Karadzewski. We're getting, I noticed there's a high correlation between chess players and conspiracy theories. Karyakin is a former Ukrainian. His coaches, his childhood coaches are literally like probably going to die in the Ukrainian war. And the guy doesn't even care. The people like that, that taught him to play chess. He has a special place in hell waiting for him. Do you think someone else took over his Twitter account? Dude, seriously? I can't believe we have to like have conspiracy theories about everything. It sounds contrived. Yes. President Biden hijacked No, it was it was Hunter Biden hijacked Karyakin's Twitter account. I think. Rudy Giuliani told me so. And he was forced at gunpoint to make pro-Putin statements. Agnes Karadziewski. Why does this sound contrived? The guys had a history of, of being very supportive toward Russia over, over Ukraine. All right, I'm not going to get involved in this. This is ridiculous. You're taking the place of, of Arsenal fan now? Are you seriously like, filling in for the conspiracy theory guys who aren't here? Normally you seem level-headed. I think that all Russian players should be banned, man. I don't think they should be allowed to be playing in Berlin. 
hiding behind this fake EU flag. That's my personal opinion, and a lot of people agree with it, and a lot of people don't. You know, I think, and it's not like chess is the only sport. They're banned from Formula One. They're banned from from football in a lot of cases. I think that Russians should be banned from sport in general. That's my personal opinion. You can you can take it or leave it. They they're not you know it's 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 not the same as like dying. What if they protest Putin go to jail? Should they be banned? Yeah. I think we have to be we have to be fair. Everyone gets banned. You're talking about Karpov. He's usually apolitical. Dude, he's in the Russian Duma. What do you mean he's apolitical? Are you serious? He's 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 quieter about his politics, but he's certainly opinionated. He's always been a dude, he's he's always been a uh, a son of the the establishment. Karpov was always he was always um, party line kind of guy. He's really hated. He was hate. He's hated by a lot of people. All right. I mean, it's Kar Kasparov is, is outspoken, you know, Karpov's not outspoken, but, you know, he's always been, uh, even during the communist era, he was like the favorite son of the, the communist regime. He was a good boy. The funny part is that he loved America. He came to the United States. He seemed to embrace it. So he seems very inconsistent, you know, in a way. That whole, like, love affair with coming to the United States, having friends over there. It's kind of weird on Karpov's, Karpov's side. He was big friends with Ron Henley, doing business in the United States. It doesn't really make sense for a hardline sort of fan of, of the communist regime. All right, so we've got any subscribers challenging. <sighs> I love I love your statement, Sanchez. Kasparov wants to. Do you know how long this has been going on? I mean, Kasparov has been against Putin since. 20 years, you know, this is not because of the Ukraine war or something. There's a lot of history. The guy has been... Putin has been planning to, like, take over and recreate, you know, take over Eurasia and recreate, like, an empire slowly over the last, like, 20-plus years. I mean, this is all part of the plan. But, I mean, enough, po enough politics... We we can't we can't get enough. <clears throat> I get enough. All I do is like watch the news all day. I'm not going to talk about the war in Ukraine during my stream anymore. Enough is enough. There's a lot of history involved. This isn't coming out of nowhere, you know. There's a whole there's a whole polit political geopolitical philosophy in Russia that's existed since the fall of the Soviet Union. I mean, there's like 600 books, 600 page books written about it. I mean, it's a geopolitical sort of philosophy that Putin's following. What am I doing here? I want to play something unusual, but you're not going to let me play it. Let's try the Uber driver attack where we just like take on C5. I know this isn't correct. Giving up the center with tempo. Who's Sam Harris? No, I just can't, I can't stop. You guys keep luring me in with these political comments. 
I'm like a fish on the on the fishing pole. You just keep really me in. All right. One more comment about Fox News and your band permanently. I saw someone post a meme yesterday, and it's pretty true. Like, the average dog learns more from, like, sniffing another dog's ass than by watching Fox News. This is literally true. It's a really good, you know, I think that was a perfect way to put it. <laughs> it's it's crude, but it's true. More information to be garnered from the average dog's ass than from Fox News. They risk the first. The only problem with your statement, Agnes Karadzewski is the they part of it. As if like more than one person makes makes judgments like that. Wait, Astrobeat, I don't understand why they'd risk being isolated. You're talking about the Soviets? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I want to call them the Soviets. They might as well be. The Russians. But it's not they. It's like one person is making all the decisions for an entire nation of 50 million people or whatever or however many there are a billion i don't know it's a one-man government there's no they you guys are like oh we can't punish the the russians for it's not their fault that putin is like starting world war three i mean exactly it's one man you know but if they're not going to stand up to him you're you're complicit you know I, I didn't accept with Donald Trump. I didn't accept Donald Trump. I'm not going to accept that. What Donald Trump does. I would protest. But it's not a normal government. It's not a dem democratic government. I mean, you got one man making these decisions. He might be sick. He might be deranged. He might be mentally ill. You go to Trump if you... <laughs> I can't even start. All right, whatever. You don't go to jail. Just if you protest Biden, right? I don't know, man. But who wants to live in fear like that? There are people protesting. In in um. Also, I I don't think I'd want to play in chess tournaments. Uh, if I was if I was a Russian. I would be ashamed, honestly. That's another way of protesting by not participating. Should Dubov and and Fedeseev and all these like Russian players pretend business is normal? I don't think so. I don't think that I would play. You know, I I, I mean personally, I don't think they should play. They shouldn't want to play. Any decent person would be like, yep. My, my friends in Ukraine are getting slaughtered. I think I'll just go to the chess tournament and pre pretend everything's normal. Really? Those guys playing in Berlin? It's totally normal. There's like women and children being like massacred in Ukraine by bombs coming from your country and you're gonna go to the tournament in Berlin like everything's normal? I'm sorry, I can't accept that. I just can't accept that. I don't think like any decent human being operates like that. These people are selfish. Any Russians participating in sport should self-ban without anyone asking them to. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't show up, you know, how could you show up? What if there's like a Ukrainian player there? What are you going to do? 
Oh, I'm sorry about your, your uncle getting murdered last week. It's not my fault. It's Vladimir Putin. If Trump was, like, dropping bombs on, on another country, you know, and was still president of the United States, I couldn't live with that, you know. I'm sorry, I would I would quit, you know, or just change my federation. They could change their federation, couldn't they? Really change it? I don't know. It's 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 complicated, but I still think Say what? Palestine was bombed by the US? What are you talking about? Palestine's not even recognized as a country, dude. <laughs> or some country. Okay, dude. Whatever. That's like the most ignorant thing I've ever heard. Wow. I should just ban him for that. The United States has been trying to, like, there's a lot of people trying to recognize Palestine as a country for a long time. It's a very ignorant thing to say, or some country. Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. I don't think I can tolerate comments like that anymore. That's your decision, HTFP, if you want to play chess. But if comparing, I don't know, some kind of drone strikes to the mass murder of a 40 million people country, you think that's normal? Are you tuning into Fox News, too? Seriously? I didn't know you were like a right winger. Damn, that's pretty harsh. Here we go again, Arsenal fan. I'm just going to turn off the stream. I'm not even going to gonna continue anymore. American presidents drone innocent families. Yeah. Happens every day. That's not an oversimplification. I don't know what is. Because they were, they were purposely targeting innocent families. Like, like the Russians are murdering people in hospitals now. I'm just so done with this. Sire! Anyone with like far right views is gonna get insta insta banned from the stream. You're in the wrong place. Yeah, let's do this. He's gotta pick a side here. I don't know. I don't appreciate the comparison between drone strikes and the destruction of an entire country like Adolf Hitler style. What's going on in Ukraine? I don't I don't appreciate these people like HDFP who are making these idiotic comparisons. Also, Bijak with the and a lot of Serbians with comparing it to bombing of Belgrade. How do you compare the annihilation of an entire an entire nation? to some drone strikes or something like that. It's like, it's, it's disgusting. No, I never play with Karyakin. As if it's an isolated thing, you know, the Russian policy. They destroyed Chechnya, they destroyed Syria. They bombed hospitals in Syria over and over again. 
All, all the bad things the United States has done. There's nothing like that. Yeah, no, karaoke should be banned permanently. It's not, it's not a question of six months. He's getting a slap on the wrist. But he knows he probably... But another thing I don't understand, you know... No, I think, like, all, all Russian sports people should be banned. Not banned, but, but not allowed to play. Until this war stops. Well, I mean, you can call it a war if you want, but I call it, like, a an attack and a massacre. Racist. Right. It's totally racist. You're not going to start. What is racist about it? We're talking about a nationality, not a race. What are you talking about? No, it's it's ridiculous. I, I, I don't know what to do. I can't stop these idiots from, from making stupid comments. I don't mean you, Arsenal, but, but there's been a, a plethora of it now. And I normally like to engage in political discussion. I might have to just, like, permanently, like, ban political discussion. Like Lee Chest or something. There's a lot of very stupid people in the chess world, especially. In general, though, I guess it's just the microcosm of everywhere. But I disagree with 99% of the stuff that I see pop up on the screen here. Jesus Christ. If you're like a political... Political issues... Wait, how did it start with your ice cream? It was you? All Russian players should be banned from sporting events until the war in Ukraine is, the murder in Ukraine is stopped. Yeah, that's what I think. But who cares what I think? That's just me. Someone asked me and I answered. Karyakin should be banned permanently. Karpov should be banned from chess permanently. Um, a handful of others. That was the question that was asked to me. How do you feel about Karyakin being banned from chess? I'm happy. I think that he's a scumbag. And I think most players agree. Alright. His own coaches from his childhood in Ukraine are probably being murdered right now. And I don't call that a war, by the way. You know, is it a war when one country, like, unleashes, like, a, a murderous assault on another country? A war is, like, when, when two sides are fighting sort of, like, on equal, equal ground or something. This is, like, an unjustified murderous assault. That seems different from a war, you know, to me. Calling it a war is... It's not even, like, just justified. Like, a murderous assault would be a better, a better terminology. War. Arsenal fan, can you handpick the most partisan 
element of a country and use that as your example or what? That's like, I think you should check out the Antifa in the United States because maybe, you know, maybe you should learn a little more about it. Like, I've, not, I've never met a single person from Antifa, but what you're doing is exactly what, like, the far right in the United States starts with the, the Antifa. You, you're exactly, like, parroting Fox News. Antifa this, Antifa that, Black Lives Matters, you know. Yeah, they're extremists on all sides, Arsenal fan, of course. But for every one of those extremists, there's, like, 99% of the population that isn't an extremist. You're talking about the Azov Battalion. Which is like a far right, a far right element and the far right nationalist element of Ukraine. That's like talking about Antifa when you're arguing for the, for the far right side of the United States. There's always some fringe element, you know. You're you're basically parroting like propaganda from from the from Pravda or something. We have to stop them. We're gonna denazify. Whatever. I think the only solution is to ban political discussion on my stream. We'll just have to create like a... Sadly, just gonna have to create like a very... The 2014... Oh my god. You mean when they took over? Little Green Men dropped and took over Crimea. That's... That's okay. That's normal. But that's okay, right? You're okay with that? What they did there? You're okay with... with forcibly? Oh, okay, so that was the justification. I got it. The coup. I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of bad actors on both sides of most conflicts. But I don't know what we're even talking about anymore. Please accept my team. What? This is not about your teams. Please don't offer me membership in your team. Advertise your team here. I'll look into it. And I'll do some special re <laughs> I'll do some special research on Antifa. I'm just gonna have to ban any any type of talking about politics. That's it, sadly. I love talking about politics, but it's just it's too, it's just too, um, too, too distracting. Can't focus on chess. <sighs> Have to put it in my, my stream guidelines. It's like the Lee Chess chat. Some of their stream just wasted. It's like the Lee Chess chat uh, rules. You're not allowed to talk about politics. Well, I appreciate...
Well, I guess Karajewski, kind of relevant. <laughs> the guy used to represent Ukraine. Of course. He's not just some random Russian dude, you know. His coaches are dying right now. Probably. His former teammates from his childhood. That's how perverse it is. But again, you're sucking me in. You guys aren't listening. No more political discussion. I'm ending it now. I don't know, I'm, I'm like, spending, I spend every day, like, reading the news about the war in Ukraine, 24 hours a day, and now I have to, like, field questions about it on my stream. It's gotten out of control. I'm gonna time people out for political comments, and then I'm gonna ban them after the timeout warnings. So everyone gets one, one warning. If you start talking about politics, I'm gonna time you out. If you do it again, I'm gonna ban you. Until you appeal your ban, you will be banned. It no longer matters what side you're on, what your point is, whatever. I, I can't deal with it anymore. Okay, bishop f5. I can trap the queen, no. Trading pieces, yes. My brain is this big, you know, and I just can't... I can't focus on two things at once, especially with my aging brain... brain fog. Maybe there was a time when I could navigate between chess and discussing politics, but I think now I've reached the point where I'm at my wit's end. No longer I have the patience in my old age to do that. So I'm just gonna, we're just gonna stop permanently. Ooh, gotta be careful he doesn't pick this pawn off. This is like an escape from politics. Now the problem is like people sneak stuff in, like talking about Karyakin is technically talking about chess, right? Sometimes there's some gray areas where you're not sure if you're talking about politics or you're talking about chess. That's how it all started. Yesterday, Hikaru was banned from his stream. Or he was banned from Twitch. Does that count as politics or chess discussion? Hmm. Gray areas. Hey, I have a passed pawn. That's tricky. He didn't get banned for political reasons. He was banned because he streamed someone else's stream or whatever that he wasn't supposed to. But was the other player banned for some sort of... What was the other player banned for? That's the question. Right, he watched Dr. Disrespect, who was banned. How do you... How do you watch someone who's banned, first of all? Second question. What was the other guy banned for? Seems to me, like, kind of important. Because that could be for politics, right? Twitch politics is different.
Nobody knows why. Okay, well, that's not the first time something like that happened. One of those mystery bands. So he wasn't showing too much cleavage or something. This player is defending like a genius down a piece. It wasn't a... a it wasn't a... Um, exposure issue, like Amaranth, um, G4, let's keep pawns on. My question basically was, was it possible the other guy was banned for something political, Karyakin style? Oh yeah, it's a good way to get in the news, absolutely. Yeah, it's like Hikaru knew. He wants attention, basically. That's a problem, you know? If, if banning becomes, like, a positive thing, then, um... kind of loses its value. Publicity stun, exactly. Exactly. What am I doing? You just have to wait. Please wait. Pick a side. Any side. Speaking of banned, you're going to be banned. You're banned for offering a draw in a lost position. Are you serious? You're in freaking Zugzwang, dude. You're banned for not knowing you're in Zugzwang. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, the name disrespect doesn't bode well. That's also a good attention getter, right? That's a bad move. He should have played King D5. Oh, right, of course. No, I knew about the guy. Yeah. It wasn't, didn't this happen before? Yeah, 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 but there was a scandal before about him, right? Oh, no, I know. I knew it was familiar. I don't follow, like, Twitch streamers too much. I totally, yeah, of course I've heard of him. Right, right. He's, yeah, he has... Yeah, he's like the character guy. He's like the badass Sasha Baron Cohen of Twitch or something. All right. Yeah, I saw an article a long time ago. That's like the... I want to talk politics again. But in politics, this is motivating a lot a lot of people. Just attention, you know. It's no longer important, like, what you... What, what you stand for. It's just like you make the biggest scandal about whatever you can think of to get attention. The opposite of what everyone, everyone else believes is ideal. I don't know. Yeah, that's not interesting. When someone said Hikaru was banned from Twitch, I was hoping it was something, you know, interesting, political. Maybe it had to do with his his losing yesterday, which was a great game by Aronyan. I'd love to see Aronyan qualify for the candidates and win it, but I kind of gave up on him, to be honest. He just always does badly in the candidates' tournaments. It's it's almost like 
guaranteed. You mean like Elon Musk? <clears throat> He would never manipulate the prices intentionally or something of his own stocks. Well, I mean, I don't know much about Cairo. I don't watch the stream. I haven't talked to him in like 10 years. Um, all I know is that I used to hate him and then he became really tolerable. But that was before his fame. So to be honest with you, it's like he's transformed himself several times. And I don't really know the new Hikaru since he became a world famous chess streamer. That Hikaru I never met. I met the obnoxious, totally awful, like little Hikaru. I met the middle aged, you know, teenager. He was like more human and I could stand him. But I don't know the, the modern Hikaru really. But I imagine fame messes with anybody. You know, the rich and famous aren't known for their stability. No, the effect that it has, for example, people like winning the lottery oftentimes like destroys their lives. How many of these celebrities have to have their conservatorships put in place? Because they're they're so messed up by fame and fortune. Yo, groomed by chess bay, uh-huh. For a second I thought you said chess base. I was like, what? Groomed. Yeah, I mean, that's when I was playing poker, it all started. Hikaru's modern, the modern Hikaru, you know, started coming in, into existence when I was sort of in another place. I, I didn't really pay attention to the chess world for basically the best part of 10 years between like 2000 10 and, and 2000, let's say 16, you know, I paid no attention to chess at all other than playing in the Hungarian team championship. So I didn't see the whole starting of, of this, um, basically the, the development of the modern Hikaru. Originally, Hikaru went from bad to better, and then I thought, we actually used to rarely, like, chat on, like, ICC. But that, again, was, like, eight, nine years ago. Um, maybe more now. Probably even more. It was, like, ten plus years ago. I never thought I would, like, be friends with him. This is a 1400. But he was tolerable. Yeah, I'm basically trying to draw here. New account. We played them once. Not big on resigning. Knight takes e4? What? No, there I have bishop takes h2 arsenal and get the pawn back. He played it the best, probably. Yeah, I mean, he played. He's better. Yeah, it's normal. Most of the time when I play 1400s, they're much stronger than the 2100s I play. That seems to follow a very consistent pattern. If you're anywhere between like 1100 and 1600, 
you're much, much stronger than the typical player between, like, I don't know, 1,922. Well, it's not just ICC. I mean, chess base destroyed itself, too. Chess bay. Chess bays. But they're like companies owned by old men who are just trying to like, you know, basically, or not just men maybe, but, but old people. <laughs> they're consistently owned by old people who can't adapt to the modern world. Chess Base, the Internet Chess Club. These are companies that fail to adapt. But the problem is, instead of reinvesting their profits in the company, they just pocketed all their profits. And when you do that over the course of like 20 years, you know, you just use it to like buy stuff and you don't reinvest in the company, then your company goes down the shitter. Big surprise, you know. You can't have a company where you don't reinvest in it. I told you guys, I tried to get my password reset from Chessbase at one point. It took me like a year and a half. And I was like a good customer to that company. On multiple occasions, I bought their products many times. The only thing they did was the Chessbase India. But that's like a subsidiary or something. That all all it did was like brought in their their base to India. As far as then they started trying to steal people's uh, chess base is a disgrace. This is a 1400. Well, he's 1800 in Rapid. Hardly any games. But he's basically played like, like a 2200 the whole game. Which is standard. This is why I don't play rated games on my streams. Technically, I shouldn't accept his challenge. No, he does have 100 games. Guys, I gotta go. One more game, two more games, max. Probably just one. No, Fat Fritz was a criminal... Was a criminal product. But that's that Brazilian guy who is a scammer. It was just negligence on the part of Chess Base. They didn't know this guy, whatever his name was. Um, is a massive scammer. They didn't do proper due diligence in letting that guy, whatever his name, I can't remember his name. But they're responsible for their products, the ownership, ultimately are responsible. He was obviously a scammer. from the beginning. I recognized that when I saw him writing articles for like Chess Base. Like, who is this guy? Never heard of him before. He just started appearing, writing authoritative articles on stuff. Interesting. All right. Yeah, those Chess Base India guys, I don't know what they're doing. They really shouldn't have associated with that company it's a very bad scene I would get myself as far away from chess base as possible I had a tactic bishop takes h2 oh he just hung his rook alright arsenal troll in a roll those guys are subscribers 
Well, Sagar Shah and those guys are probably making pretty good money from the Chess Space India thing. So they don't want to lose it. They're going to hang on, but... I don't know how you can defend that. How you can defend that is it's indefensible. It's just... It's, it's stealing stuff. That's copyright infringement, basically. Well, they didn't credit... I mean, the, okay, it wasn't copyright infringement. The, they didn't credit, you know, like, basically shareware. They were crediting shareware as something they developed themselves. Yeah, they've been sued. Probably takes forever. But chess piece is disgusting. I mean, for many reasons. I basically swore it off around around 2010, the last time I bought a product from Chess Base, when it really started to go downhill. The problem is there's no competition. Just assistance sort of disappeared. So they were able to like get away with just sucking because there was no competition. I guess just not, not enough, there's just not a big enough market for chess software. Yeah, I hope they sue the shit out of Chess Base for everything they've got. I mean, who owns Chess Base? Like, that one, like, rich old German guy? Um. What's his name? can't remember anything. I'm, I'm just getting mentally retarded. I can't remember names. I've always been bad with names. To be honest. Not as bad as some people. I know this one guy who always... One of my students who always, like, misremembers every single name. That takes effort. At least I get a few, I remember a few people's names, right? Yeah, Mayushi played like... Troll's coming back. He turned what looked like an awful position into a great one here. Out of nowhere. How can he do that? What a flow. The flow of Black's play was unbelievable. Looked like he was clearly worse, and then just bloop, instantaneously he's got a perfect position. And Troll can do that without calculating any variations, which is very creepy. I'm going to try to take this last challenge from Arsenal fan. Got to play fast. I've got to go in like 15 minutes.
one move tactic is over the horizon for Troll. I guess he's like an experiment in, in how how well can you play chess without calculating one move deep. <laughs> Look at this. There's tactics. What does he do? Bishop e6 or move the king? Now queen c5. Need to mobilize. Oh, Knight of Seven saved the exchange. But honestly, you know, I thought he had interesting exchange sacrifices. Even here, he may have full compensation. I'm not sure that the material is is that big a deal that it's clear that that he should. It's a tough decision. I'm not like, "Oh, I'm winning. I'm up the exchange." And queen e4 is a good move. Well, at least it appears to be a good move. On several levels. Geez, he's got queen e3, I just realized. I can deal with that. The, ch the stream is much more pleasant now that I've banned political discussion. Normally when there's not something such so crazy going on, I could deal with it, but I'm, I'm happy we made that decision. I'm going to try to stick to it. The hard part is sticking to it, like any other addiction. Talking about politics is hard to give up. Well, I mean, I know that it's a standard, like, no-go for a lot of streamers. I've always been sort of liberal about it. My head hurts. So he doesn't do bishop takes e2. <laughs> kind of an important move, no? That would require calculation. So imagine what a handicap it is to not be able to do like one move tactics. Yeah, that's another idea. And that's another idea. You know, both bishops can shift back to the other diagonals. I didn't really think about your suggestion of bishop f8, but bishop back there, you know, clearly to that diagonal is a big one. Oh, you have to like re, re maneuver. Reposition the troops. Ha, oh, did it again. All right, last game against Arsenal, quickly. Now he takes.
Oh, I see. So what's your point? You can play... Um... Bishop d3. Agnes Karadzewski donating 500 bits. Well, I mean, he still has compensation. Boom. No. Do I want to sack a pawn here? To free myself? Damn, troll. Stay in your lane. Yeah, he still has full compensation. I don't know that this is even a good idea. It's probably not, to be honest. Yes. He saw that one move tactic. That's highly unusual. He's even seeing one of tactics now. Now he's getting carried away. That's two tactics in a row. So he's just like freaking out now. Thank you for the donation from Magnus Karadewski. Last game. I was supposed to play Weird Openings, but it was basically just a political stream instead. <laughs> Whatever. Good game, troll. Oh, last time he almost killed me when I played this. What would happen if you played e5? It's queen e7. Well, you could also take. Last time Arsenal, I played this against him, he reacted pretty well. There was some sort of a6. We're gonna try again. I gotta get out of here. We're late to work. This is just what I do for the F word. Yesterday, Donald Trump. <laughs> no, that's politics. I can't. He started this funny thing though, where he was he was calling like nuclear the N word. People were making fun of him. No, I can't talk about politics. Damn it! The Trump isn't really politics. It's just he's a meme. He's like he's just like a meme character. Yes, yeah, politics not allowed. It's going to be hard to adjust. The N word, but I want to say the F word. So it's the same thing for me. If I say the F word, we think we're thinking about something else. You know, that's the point. The F word is fun, but it sounds like I'm thinking about something else.
How does this work again? Well, that's the gist of it. You're thinking about something else, and and then it turns out you're talking about something totally, totally different. I had a big, I had a big rant yesterday about how chess, and that's the title of my stream today. Chess is not meant to be fun for serious players. Recreational chess players, it can be fun. It's fun to sadistically crush your opponents. That's the fun part. But it so rarely seems to happen. Do I have a USB problem again? Did anybody, nobody comment on the fact that the mask rule is out of effect for Ponda? I can't believe, like, at least Arsenal didn't make a comment. Ponda's mask has been removed, and nobody even mentioned it. We're releasing, that's almost politics too. Retracting the, the mask rule too quickly. COVID, COVID cases are way up. Not in Hungary, I assume. Yeah, we're, we're usually later. Later to catch on here. I should just start political streaming. But you'll have political discussion one day a week. Yeah, only if we get a bit... What is it called? Uh, hype conductorship or something. I want to move my jeep on, but I'm never allowed. Nothing's allowed around here. One day I will move my jeep on Arsenal, but not yet. That's a good idea, Agnes Karadewski. Maybe during my arena. Someone suggested I host an arena. I thought about doing arena Friday mornings. Not this week, because it's a bad week with time zones, but but if I did an arena tournament, then we could get like the maximum like random people and trolls during the political discussions, which would make it more fun and more toxic. We wanna try to get as many like random angry people and, and different different views if I host an arena it would be like the perfect setting for political discussion seriously though I thought it was a good idea to do to do an arena and and then instead of doing it on Tuesday nights Friday after or Friday mornings It'll only be players from India, though, because the time zone, it's horrible for Westerners and just okay for Europeans. If I, if I host an arena at 11 a.m. Budapest time, we'll get, like, basically no American, Canada, Westerners, a handful of Europeans who are up early, and only players from Asia, which is fine, but it's not optimal. Not simul day, no. I'm talking about Friday. Yeah, but Arsenal made a very serious mistake. He traded queens. I mean, objectively, maybe not a mistake, but it feels like practically... Because he's... You see, the thing is, he's faster than me, and he often puts pressure on me on, on time. And I think the queen trade is bad when you're you're playing for a time pressure type of thing. It's easier for me to play with the queens off the board and less risk to my king, let's say. Chess is a beautiful game. Okay, I mean, 
the whole thing about making fun of chess not being fun, part of it is, first of all, I was making fun of, no joke, did a blog about the the bullet thing on Tuesday or whatever, or whatever, the he did a blog that was about how ch how chess is fun and arenas are fun or whatever, but if you think chess is fun, I know you're not a serious player. Um, but first of all, what you raise are uh, Zen chess, what, what you're talking about is really cool because, well, I mean, for a long time, I would, I would agree that one of the greatest things about chess is that like different people see it in different ways. You know, there are different things about chess that, that are, that are beautiful. And one of the great things about chess, not to sound like, um, happy, 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 uh, and fluffy is that there's, there's many, um, ways to look at the game. But I think it's just sort of saying it's like about having fun is sort of like the least interesting of them. You know, fun is like going to a birthday party. I mean, fun is drinking with your buddies. Chess is chess is pain. 99% pain and like 1% pleasure. It's, yeah, I mean, art for me is a big part of it. The competitive side. I was never attracted to chess because it's fun, you know. I mean, winning is fun. Losing isn't fun. You rarely hear like good players describe chess as being something they do for fun. It's a dark art. Do Jedi's have fun? For example, the ninjas have fun. Anything cool like that? I mean, if you wouldn't dress up as a chess player for Halloween, it's probably not something that's fun. That's the way I figure. Am I wrong? That's kind of like the, the measuring stick. Could you dress up as a chess player for Halloween? If not, then it's just, it's not fun, you know? Simple as that. Because that's something that's fun, right? Going out trick-or-treating for Halloween is fun. Chess is not fun. Chess is, is hard work. It's stress. I felt bad for this poker dealer. He looked just like Harry Potter, and I was like consciously thinking it. And then like this one guy was like talking about Harry. I was like, are you serious? They really call him Harry Potter? To his face? That's brutal. Now what do I do? My knight gets trapped. I'm not going to fall for that truth thing. I had a plan here. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, this is a long game. I was supposed to play a quick game. Look at that. Go, go, gadget arms. Nice try by Arsenal. If only he tried this hard in the beginning of the game. Right? Alright guys, gotta go. Thanks everybody. <laughs> I'll see you later. Remember, chess is not fun when played seriously.